I'm here today to talk to people about the Ouija board. Now, whether you've started already with the board and you're getting messages, or whether you're considering getting involved with the Ouija board, I would just ask you to just hear me out for a couple of minutes of your time and just consider some of the things that I've got to say, some of the experiences I've heard about and some of the information I'd like to share with you. A few years back I read this book called Beware the Devil by a man called Robert Lee. Unfortunately I think it's out of print now. But Mr Lee was a very logical man, was a very rational man, but he began to get interested in spiritualism and wanted to know what it was all about. So he went along to his local spiritualist church. Didn't really find too much to impress him However, one of the spirit mediums one night told him that if he really wanted to contact the spirit world in a very effective way, that he should get on a Ouija board, that he should construct a Ouija board himself and try and contact spirits. So he did this. He and his wife got together of an evening and many a time was spent trying to contact spirits. Sometimes he felt something was happening. At other times he felt that it was just all in vain. But one night there was a turning point when he and his wife felt their arms, like they were filled with electricity as the glass moved around the board and it was giving messages and there was no doubt in his mind that something supernatural was going on. So after this he began praying to God and asking about this, whether it was right to continue with or not. And he began to hear a voice in his head and this voice claimed to be a spirit called the Muse. And the Muse told him he had been chosen that he would be a very special healer and that it had training for him to do. So, of course, all of this appealed to his pride and he continued to get this voice in his head and it gave him training, it gave him secret knowledge and, and he felt really special, you know, and really good. But as time went on, the muse became more and more tormenting and menacing and set him humiliating and embarrassing tasks. It began to keep him awake at night, it began to terrify him with visions and dreams. And in the end, this spirit and other spirits as well said that he would be driven insane. He was absolutely terrified. And the only way he could get free was by seeking the help of some local Christians who prayed for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, these kind of stories are not just isolated. I've got a friend who's a very reliable person. He's not prone to exaggeration. And he said when he and a group of friends were children, they messed around with a Ouija board and they saw a bright green pair of eyes in a cupboard not the cat, but something very, very evil. They ran down the stairs out of the house, and when they looked at the house, they all saw that the windows were slanted and the door was slanted, and they were all holding on to each other for dear life, screaming hysterically, and then something snapped, and the vision went. Now, maybe you can say, well, I've messed with the Ouija board for ages. I've, I've you know, not had any problems with it. But I would ask you this. If you had a loaded gun, and you aimed it at your head, and you just had one bullet in there, and you kept on pressing the trigger, click, 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 click. Eventually you're going to get that bullet, aren't you? You might get away for, with it for a while, but eventually you will get that bullet. And it's the same spiritually with the Ouija board. Eventually something bad will happen to you because the spirits that are behind the Ouija board are not ghosts. They're not good spirits. They're demons. The Bible says that even Satan masquerades as an angel of light. And these spirits want to just drag you down, they want to torment you, they want to possess you. In fact, Mr. Lee was possessed and he had to have deliverance and demons cast out of him. I would urge you to stop playing with the Ouija board. If you're going to get involved with it, don't. What you need to do if you want a spiritual experience, which is wholesome and good, then contact Jesus Christ, not through a Ouija board, but through prayer directly. If you've played with the Ouija board, repent of it and ask Jesus Christ to help you and seek out a Bible believing church and get prayer by Christians who can give you support and encouragement. Thanks for listening.